OK, I will show you guys how to solve y double prime plus y is equal to tangent t with variation of parameter. And you should watch my previous video because I derived the system of equation. The two conditions that we need, right? Anyway, let's get to work right here. Step one, we have to find yh, meaning we have to solve y double prime plus y equals to zero. And we can change this thing to r squared plus one equals to zero. So in another word, you can see that r is equal to plus minus i. And this is zero plus minus one i. So you know, the first solution is going to be cosine one t, and the other one is sine one t. And there's no real part right here, so you don't have any e to the whatever, right? Let me label y1 to be cosine t, and let me label y2 to be sine t. So these are the two solutions that we have at the moment. And now, step two is to find yp. And you know yp is going to be v1 y1 plus v2 y2, right? Okay, here is the most important part from the previous video. We have to remember that system of equation, right? So let me put this down right here for you guys. We must have, and this is how you can remember it, y1 v1 prime plus y2 v2 prime equals to zero. And you are going to line out the y1 prime and the, the y2 prime, okay? And then the first equation, you multiply by y1, y2. The second equation, you will have y1 prime plus y2 prime. And this is going to be equal to f of t over a. Where is a? a is the coefficient, right, the number in front of the y double prime. So in this case, a is equal to 1. And this guy here is our f of t, which is just a tangent t. So the equation that we have to solve is going to be this. y1, I label this to be cosine t, so I'll put this down right here. Here we have the cosine t, and I'm just going to write this down again here for you guys. You'll see why. I will put down cosine t here in blue, cosine t, and then v1 prime, I don't know, so I'll put down v1 prime. And then this right here, I will put down plus y2, which is sine t, so let's put that down sine t, and then we have v2 prime. And then this is equal to zero. And the other equation right here, we will have to differentiate, differentiate, right? Differentiate cosine, we get negative sine t, and this is still multiplied by v1 prime. And for the next one, we add, we differentiate sine t, which is going to be cosine t, and this is v2 prime, and this is equal to our f of t is tangent t, so we will have tangent t over 1. a is 1, so this is what we have, right? And now, our goal is to solve for y1 prime and also y2 prime. Well, system of equation. So up to you, whichever one you want to solve first. Let me solve for v2 prime first, so I want to get rid of y1 prime. To do so, let me multiply everything on the top right here by negative sine t, okay? And the second equation, I will just multiply by cosine t. And in fact, I do not need to have the negative sine t because this is no negative already, right? So now, this is what we will end up with. <laughs> okay, so perhaps I'll show you guys all the work right here. This is going to be positive sine t, cosine t, v1 prime, and then sine t times that is going to be plus sine squared t, v2 prime, and then sine t times 0 is just 0. And next, this times that is negative sine t, cosine t, v1 prime, this times that is plus cosine squared t, v2 prime, and this is equal to, what's tangent? Tangent is the same as sine t over cosine t, right? And you see, when you do cosine t times this, you will just get sine t right here. And now I will add them up together, and you will see that this and that cancel out right away, so that's nice. And we'll have the v2, right? v2 prime technically. Okay, uh, 
sine squared t plus cosine squared t is equal to 1, right? This plus that is just 1. So we have 1 times d2 prime equals to sine t. And I can integrate and I can solve, isn't it? So that's good. So you know you can just erase this and then let's integrate both sides with respect to t. In another word, we get v2 equals to the integral of sine t is negative cosine t. So negative cosine t. And let me tell you, yes, we integrated both sides, but please do not put down any constants because the point of the v1 and v2 is to put it here, put it here for the yp. Remember, our goal is to solve for this. That's the differential equation that we want. And the constant at the end is going to be right here. c1 times this plus c2 times that, right? So do not put down any constant in this situation. Anyway, we got our v2. So it's a big progress, right? And now to get v1 prime, I will go back to here and I will do elimination again. It's easier this way. We will get rid of v2 prime. Well, to do so, on the first equation here, I will multiply everything by negative cosine t. And then for the second one, I will multiply everything by sine t. And you'll see this times that is negative cosine squared t v1 prime, right? And this times that is just minus, let's put down the sine first, sine t, cosine t, v2 prime, and this is equal to, this times that is just zero. And now, this times that is negative sine squared t, and we have v1 prime. This times that is positive sine t, cosine t, v2 prime. And this is equal to, okay, we have sine t times tangent t. This is what though? Well, if you would like, you should have you know, write this down as sine t over cosine t. And sine t times sine t is sine squared t. So let me just put it down as sine squared t over cosine t, all right? And now, you see, we can actually <laughs> cancel this out, so it's not bad, right? Okay, check this out. This is negative cosine squared t minus sine squared t. You can factor out the negative, and technically, you will just get negative, and then, now let me just write this down right here for you guys cosine squared t plus sine squared t times v1 prime right here, right? Let me just put this down in black. And this will be equal to this combined with that, so just sine squared t over cosine t. Well, this is just equal to 1, and you have negative 1, right? So, okay, now we have the following. As we can see, this is just going to be negative 1 v1 prime, right? And that's multiplied negative 1 on both sides. In other words, you can get v1 prime equals to this negative here will go here. So let me put this down right here. And then sine squared t over cosine t. And we know how to integrate in a second, right? Let me rewrite the sine squared t as 1 minus cosine squared t, all right? This is for that. And then we still divide it by cosine t right here. And let's just distribute the negative into the parentheses right here, this and that. So in another word, v1 prime is equal to, we will get cosine squared t, that's positive, so right here, and then negative 1, like this, and then over cosine t. And I will just split the fraction before I integrate, so v1 prime equals to, this over that is cosine t, minus 1 over that is secant t, and now from here, I will integrate both sides with respect to t. So let's put down a dt right here and here. Okay, v1 equals to, what's the integral of cosine t? Well, that's going to be positive sine t. And then let's bring down the minus. And integral of secant t is ln absolute value secant t plus 
tangent t. Okay, so this is how v1 looks like. And once again, do not put down the plus c whatsoever right here. We don't need to. All right, so this is v1. This is v2. How can we get the overall solution? Well, yp is equal to v1 times this and then all that stuff, right? So here we go. Let's put this down. So let me put on in black and blue. So yp is equal to v1 is that. So let's put this down. We have sine t minus ln. And depending on your domain of interest, sometimes you may not need the absolute value. But in this case, let me just keep the absolute value. Uh, I don't want to talk about this too much. So anyway, tangent t like this. This is v1. And we multiply this by y1, which is cosine t, right? So let's multiply this by cosine t. And then we add v2, which is this, which is much better, which is negative cosine t, that's v2. And we multiply this by y2, which is sine t. And that's what we have. And can we simplify anything? Yes. <laughs> if you distribute this, that, and this, check this out. Yp is actually just the following. When you do this times that, it's sine t cosine t. And this right here, it's also sine t cosine t, but negative, right? Therefore, this and that will cancel out. And you have to just have this and that. So in other words, you will have negative, let's put on the cosine t in the front, cosine t, and then multiply by ln, absolute value, secant t plus tangent t. Ladies and gentlemen, this is yp. At the end, <laughs> for the solution right here, here we go. Let's put down the answer for the overall solution. We have y equals to c1 times y1 plus c2 times y2, right? So we will have c1 times y1, which is cosine t, and we add it with c2 times the second one, which is sine t. And we also <laughs> put them together with yp. So we minus cosine t times ln absolute value secant t plus tangent t. And we are done. That is it.